Hello, we got Sim in your apartment, and we are working a similar exercise like we did at Jordan's place, where we're asking him to drop the toys and not bring it to us and create some distance away from it. Um, but this exercise is a lot harder in here than it was over there, and I think it is because this is home of all of his toys, and he just he was used to having them, and now when we take them, it's like. Mm. You know, a little hard for her, for him to break those habits. That being said, he is performing. Um, right now, he is performing for a medley of treats, one of which I just found that piqued his interest the most was diced up turkey um, deli meat. So really cool to know he likes turkey. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this exercise because it is similar to the last time. Uh, mostly when he sees it, when he sees it, we're asking him to leave it, create some distance, and if he has it, to drop it and leave it there and create some distance. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the toy is behind my back, by the way. Good boy. Good job, and anytime he chooses to offer me some eye contact, I'm definitely going to reward him for it. Good boy. And the only reason he's on leash is so he just can't, like, go snatch the toys. So just controlling, um, you know, make sure that he succeeds. Hey. Hey, Sim, can you leave it? Let's go. Come on. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Let's go. Good. Good. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of a victory lap over here, creating some distance. Um, and then returning back to this area. I know he likes to come over back to the areas where um, his toys have been and just kind of whine, uh, which is not acceptable. So we're just getting accustomed to getting away from where the toys have been. It's not a big deal. Going on a lap is actually way more beneficial for you than, you know, whining and wherever it was hanging out. Sam, come on. You gotta leave it. Sam, Sam, let's go. Good boy, good job, good job. Okay, good boy. Good. Sim, does he leave it? Come here. Where is it? Good boy, good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, that's a really good butt scratch. Yes, good boy. Okay, let's go back. Let me know you're ready for me to give it to him. Good. Let me know you're ready for me to give it to him. Yep. One more leave it, and then when I come back, it can be there. Sim, you leave it? Come here, Sim. Good boy, good boy. And as we are doing this video, I just heard a rumble of thunder, so hopefully he will stay in it for the duration of this and he remains calm. Um, yeah, we we'll just keep keep this going. All right, we can do the toy. All right, so now the toy is visible. Right then we were asking him to leave it with just him knowing that it was behind Taylor's back. Now he can actually see it. And as you know, leave it does mean look away or disengage. This would be infinitely more difficult um, but when he does look away I'm gonna make it a huge deal hey Sim can you leave it good boy good, good boy job. And in these moments, um, food isn't cutting it. So when he looks away um, from those things, we are rewarding him with a toy um, so that he's allowed to play. So it doesn't always mean that, hey, when we say leave it, you can never have your toys. We don't want him to get the impression that he's never going to have toys. He just needs to understand the rules when they're around. Which is not tossing at us and throwing, making us throw it so and not pacing around the house to get to it. Yep. Which is actually our next thing before we leave is work on the... Um, mm -hmm. The bag. Leave the bag alone. Good boy. Good boy. You didn't drop it. You did. All right, Tim. You come here. Good. Can we drop it? Can we drop it? All right. I need you to let it go. We're not going to go anywhere. Let's try this again. Come on. Where's Tim? Where's Tim? Oh, good. Yes, good boy. Good. Can you leave it? Let's go. Come on. Good. Whoa. Boy. That's huge. Good. That's job. huge. You got that in the home. Boy, good job. Good job. Okay, go get the toy. Go get it. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Come here. Come here. Come here Sam. You see, good boy. Come here, Sam. Good. Good job, Sam. And good go. Job. So, guys, you can practice as we as we're showing it. Um, on leash, two people. First, um, half of it should be him not having it, just knowing that you do have it. Ask him to leave it. Walking him away from the toy is really um, beneficial to this practice. It helps get his mind off it more off um, for a longer period of time, which helps him not obsess over for too long. And then try that for maybe three, four times. And then the fourth time, when he goes back to ask him to leave it, and then you can reward him with that toy. So um, the, the treats that really helped us out today are the turkey deli meat and also the raw instinct. The raw instinct are a hit yeah, for him. He loves, he loves those, but um, those get old through the sessions as well. So it's always good to have a variety of treats, and deli meat is his go-to today. So we hope you guys enjoyed this short video. We still enjoy working on the day. I hope you guys have a
a great day. Yes. Bye. You gonna say bye, Sam? Bye, Sam. Oh, that's his toy right there. He's not. And we're not even playing with it. Okay. It's a good boy. Good job.